Hey everybody, my name is Jay Christina and this video is for the people that have been asking me to make a video about my experience at One Million Dance Studio. You'll get the gist of, you know, what I went through and there's going to be more videos coming out there soon. I'm still in South Korea. Today is March 20th, 2016 and I've been here for almost a year. Once my year hits, I'll be going back to the States. So I hope you enjoy it and like and subscribe. was different. The main question that I've been getting a lot, what was it like when you first walked in the dance studio? Like were they welcoming? Did they look at you like you were weird because you were American or the color of your skin? Or A lot of people don't really like talking about stuff like that. I feel like you should just because of the fact that if you're just going to automatically assume that these people are going to treat you a certain way because you're already thinking of the negative of how they could judge you as soon as you walk in through the door you'll never know unless you ask and i'm proud of the people that have asked me in order for me to be able to tell them when i first stepped into the dance studio i was nervous um i could i could barely make it up the stairs i'm nervous as hell i don't know what we're about to do without literally crapping my pants <gasps> I don't think I could have done that by myself though. I was very thankful that I had one of my best friends with me. It was a very warm welcoming that I received from the workers that worked at One Million. I didn't know if they were gonna sit there and just be like, who is this black girl? Or if they were just gonna be there, you know, standing and staring, you know, with like a weird stare and just not even blink. I don't know, I can't even describe what it felt like when Chase and I saw the flyer for the fact that Will and KK were coming. Like, that blew my mind. Like, the main reason why I decided to go to One Million Dance Studio is because of Jerry Koo. Jerry Koo just amazed me with one video that I saw of hers. Um, she was dancing to um, Aquarius. And it just blew my mind. I was like, how is somebody moving so smooth like this? And then when I found out that South Korea was gonna be my first duty station, I was like, oh man, I gotta go. I gotta go, like, I gotta go to this dance studio because, you know, it just, they just look like they just have fun. And on top of that, they work on technique. Like, it just looked so great. <laughs> it was awkward the first time that I went uh, to Jerry's class. She was my first choreographer, my first teacher at One Million. I went because I wanted to take her class. I didn't think about any other choreographer at, at the time. I just wanted to take a Jerry Kluge class. first day at one million I'm over here like no she didn't like <laughs> I literally have to watch this girl run back and forth she was trying to teach us the whole acting with your facial expressions thing while you're dancing and whatnot and always make sure it doesn't matter what you're doing there's always some kind of emotion behind it because that's the only thing that makes anything believable so i mean yes okay her running back and forth from wall to wall made me understand that she was struggling with something i got that part but i mean <laughs> I just wanted to know why it had to be the first day I decided to go to One Million. You know, we didn't dance. We didn't dance at all. We didn't, we did not dance at all. 
I realized that I'm actually glad that she did that. At the time, no, I could not understand why I was going through this. That's what made me the dancer that I was at the time that I went and I was thinking that. Because now it was so helpful. Once upon a time when I danced, I did not blink. You can tell the concentration was on my face all the time. Cause I was so hell bent on messing up. I didn't want to mess up. And in reality, I was making myself look retarded regardless because yeah, she knows the moves. She knows how to do this properly or she knows how to you know execute every move and not make it look sloppy but at the end of the day i still sucked because i looked like a deer in headlight her teaching us how to always have that emotion on our face to always just stop thinking so hard about dancing dancing you shouldn't have to think it you, you should just feel it and that's probably the one thing that I knew about myself was that I never really treated dance like it was an emotion because I'm always so willing to prove to other people that, you know, I can do this, I can dance like this, I can dance like that, but at the end of the day, me trying to be a perfectionist about how I'm moving, it wasn't helping me because I wasn't having fun with it and I wasn't I wasn't feeling like I was doing something that I love. I love dancing and, you know, that was the first step to me becoming a better dancer, honestly, mm -hmm. because of Jerry Koo. And she could see that about me. Like, she could see that that determination that I had. I've taken a lot of classes, well, as much as I can, because I am in the United States Army. Being active duty in the United States Army, surprisingly, has not gotten in the way of me dancing. I've taken as many classes as I can, though. You know, and some of those classes being, you know, Hyojin's class, Bong Young Park, um, you know, Yu Jung Lee. It's different for every class. Every choreographer has a different kind of vibe, different energy levels, I should say. You kind of vibe off of them. No choreographer's class that I've taken acts like they're better than the students that they're teaching.
And when I took their dance workshop, it, it was powerful. It was nice to actually be able to talk to, you know, somebody who's actually been in the, you know, entertainment game and actually describe to me what it's like and what it is that I need to be able to do in order to actually become the dancer that I want to be and, you know, just tell me things from their personal experiences. I'm gonna go see Will the Beast and KK. Yes, I am. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I am an African-American female. I am 5'8", and that is already different enough compared to the Korean females that I am constantly around whenever I do go to the dance studio here. Like there are some things that I did that I'm not proud of just because of the fact that I would see myself messing up. Um, I would see myself you know, messing up and not knowing how to get out of it because as soon as I mess up, I'm like, crap, crap, crap. Okay, I'm still sucking. I still suck. I'm still not doing the dance right. Like, there have been times where that has actually happened, especially when it's, like, coming to the fact that we're recording it for it to be put on a, on a website for people to actually just see, anybody can see. Like, I've messed up. Sometimes I, I've I, I'm still messing up, but I mean, practice makes perfect. trying to bring out the beast and everybody I wasn't trying to make a joke out of that but I'm being dead serious <laughs> experience still to this day is when I got my solo for the I don't F with you choreography that KK taught it brought something out of me that I wish I like unleashed it a long time ago you know that would be the confidence that I was missing as far as <laughs> not caring what people thought about me while I'm dancing you know, I put in just as much work trying to learn the dance like everybody else. The music started playing and then I was like, okay, I'm still kind of nervous. And then all of a sudden, like, the song and my mentality were just mixing. And then all of a sudden, I just, I just let it go. You little stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. You little, you little dumb bad bitch, I ain't fucking with you. Bullet from a crazy bitch. I stuck 
back to my guns, that's what made me risk, that's what put me on, that's what got me here, that's what made me this. And everything that I do is my first name. These hoes chase bread, all brand, she got a bird brain, ain't nothing but trilling me. And when I started freestyling, I don't know the first thing about freestyling because all I've ever known is to learn and adapt and be a monkey see monkey do type person. So whatever happened, happened. They pressed record and I just started going. And it may have not been perfect, but that was definitely the start of a new dancer being born, in my opinion. Don't be shocked that I'm in the U.S. Army. That's a whole different conversation for a whole different video. Ask me any questions that you want to ask me in the comments below. You want to send me a message, send me a message. doesn't matter. I'm open for any questions and I will be glad to answer any of them.